So today we're going to be talking about creating a SKU system for your products and SKUs just refer to product codes that you can assign to your unique products and they're completely customizable, meaning that you can make them indicate certain things that make sense for your products and your business. It's a pretty simple process, only five steps, so let's get to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is start your SKU number with a top level identifier. So this means the first two or three digits of your SKU numbers are going to be indicating what you have decided is the most important thing that you want your employees or yourself to be able to see about a product at a glance. So that could be a store category, a store department, a supplier, a color, a size, whatever makes sense for your products. So if we were to take an example, let's say I run a clothing store and I want my SKU numbers to help my employees know where each product goes. So I decide to make my top level identifier or the first two or three digits of my SKU number indicate department or store section. So if I had a small green blouse, I would start, start my SKU with top, referring to the top section of my store. And if I had pants, I would do the same thing. P-A-N would refer to the pants section of my store and so on and so forth for all my products. The next step you're gonna to wanna to take is to use the middle numbers of your SKU to identify unique identifiers. So these are going to be subcategories, whether that be size, color, um, it could be department, it could be supplier, whatever, again, makes sense for your business. So if I were to turn back to my example with the green blouse, so I want to make my shopping easier for customers. So we put all of our stuff away by size order. So for my middle skew digits, I want to indicate the size of the product and I want to indicate product type. So for my small blouse, I would say top and then my, my middle indicators would be SM for small and 06 would be indicating product type. Um, and I'm assuming that I've created a numbering system along with my products to go with my SKU codes. So following that, we're going to want to move on to step three. And you're going to finish your SKU numbers with a sequential series of numbers, whether that be 001, 002, one, two, three, whatever it be, it needs to be sequential. That makes it easier to read and it can also um, help you keep track of like seasons of products. If things come in, you know, more than once and you need to keep track of that sequential movement of your products. So if I wanted to return to my green blouse, so I'm going to finish the last three um, digits of my SKU code with the season of the piece because I run a store and I remove things after the season. So if my small green blouse was for the spring, I would end my sequence with 001. And for me, this helps as we move into three, as we move into fall, we want to have all the ones and twos off of the sales floor. And this just makes that organization easy. So then we're going to move on to step four. And so then you're going to add your SKU numbers into your point of sale system or inventory management system. Um, so that means that you're going to be taking your SKUs and on each product page, you're, you'll fill in exactly what code goes with that product. And from there, your inventory system or your point of sale system will be able to track those products live as you sell them and let you know their quantities, how they're performing over time and things like that. So adding them into your point of sale system and inventory management system just helps you keep track of your products and helps your computer be able to identify your products by their SKU as well. Um, if you are using a pen and paper or manual method otherwise, you um, just be sure that you're entering each of your products with their SKU numbers so you can track them via their SKU. Um, for many point of sale systems, there will be a built-in spot where you can add your SKU. As you can see right here, there's a SKU system built into, this is the square point of sale system, um, and you can add your SKU right in there. So then you're going to want to move on to creating barcode labels. So once you have entered all your SKU numbers into your inventory system, you will want to create a scannable version of those SKUs um, to make your checkout easier, to make your inventory counting easier, all of that stuff. If you're using a point of sale system, most likely there will be a barcode pre-generated for the SKUs that you have entered. If not, you, we have a barcode generator in this article that you can use. Um, and then all you have to do from there is print your labels and attach them to your products and your green blouse is ready to go. All right. Thank you guys.